To set multi pricing on an item, first go to stock and click on stock item maintenance. Yeah, if you have already created an item, you can click edit, and if you haven't, you can click new to create a new item. Since I've already created an item, I will just click edit. Under the details tab, you can see the UOM details tab. Here, you are able to see the selling price of the item. You are able to key in up to six different prices. If you wish to change the name of these prices to something else, for instance, from price one to normal, price two to member price, etc., you are able to do that too. So to do that, first we will close this tab. Then we will go to tools and click on options. Here, click on stock and click on general stock setting too. Now you are able to substitute the existing name to a newer name. For example, from price one, I will change to the normal. From price two to member. Price three to bulk. You can customize all six of these names, but for now I will just do three. Once done, click OK. So if we go back to the stock item maintenance and if we click edit, we are able to see the names of the prices are updated. So now we can key in the new price. Once done, click OK. You can also preset the pricing type for certain depth tests. To do that, go to AR and click on depth maintenance. Since I've already created a data, I will just select and click edit. Here, I go to the Others tab, and under the multi-pricing option, you will be able to select the price type that you want. For example, I will select price 3. Then, check the checkbox next to it, which is Allow to change multi-pricing on document. By checking this checkbox, you will then be able to change the pricing options in the transaction document. So once done, click Save. Now, you can test the saved configuration by creating a new invoice. To do that, click Invoice. Here, select Adapter. And under the multi-pricing, you would be able to notice that it is automatically shown price 3. So if we add an item, we would notice the unit price is now 80 ringgit. However, if we change the price to price 1, a new pop-up will appear saying we want to update all details, unit price and discount based on the auto price rule. And if we click yes, the unit price will automatically change based on the multi-pricing price 1. Thank you.